what's the real dangers in Memphis if you would if you would say? I mean, in my opinion, shit, you just gotta stay out the way. The real dangers in Memphis is being in the way. If you always outside, you always in the mix of everything, you probably gonna witness something or something gonna happen to you. Or you gonna have to do something to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're gonna get put in a situation. So I feel like the best way to be in Memphis is just to be out the way, get your money. If you alive, subscribe. Man, um, I'm gonna ask y'all to subscribe on this one. <laughs> this one, the one, I don't think I done asked y'all within the last two, three shows, but this one of the ones I just want y'all to make sure y'all subscribe. It's free. Press the subscribe button. And you also, because everybody don't know what to do. You also hit the bell. It lets you know when, when my show is coming on. And share it to some people like, you know, you might not watch every episode, but your people might like it. And so share it. But um, I thought about over over the last two weeks, I kind of went through some. So I'm going to say, and I ain't saying mental in a bad way, but just some mental mental stuff. And I was just thinking, like, I just need a reset. You know what I'm saying? And so I just, I started thinking about why I done been the last two months. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, um, who I been hanging around? Who I been talking to? Have these people actually been elevating me? Have Who who I been interviewing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's just you just you just I just got to thinking about all that stuff and and sometimes you just gotta you gotta you gotta reset and you gotta kind of clean your closet out. Everybody that you talked to last month wasn't a good person to talk to. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And so with me, just like um, I'm excited and just to like take a reset. But I'm excited today, man. Um, man, Kane, this is what this is what I'm talking about. If you're out here grinding. And you're doing your thing on anything entertainment. If you're not putting in the work, it ain't gonna work. And this guy, man, sleepy, sleepy low, man, Kanks local came from all the way from Memphis to come to If You Alive Subscribe show. And I'm honored and I'm dedicated to making sure that you guys tap into him. You know what I'm saying? That you guys like get to know him a little bit. But what's happening, sleep? What's going on? What's good, my guy? How you doing today, man? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. I'm glad you got me on the show, man. Man, like what? Um, yeah. What do Memphis people actually think about Nashville? With us being, we are so close, right? But not close, right? What do you think? What's What's the relationship? What do you guys see? I think it's mixed. I think it's a divide. You okay. know what I'm saying? You got some people who love Nashville, and then you got some people who ain't never been to Nashville but got an opinion about Nashville. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like before I came to Nashville, I thought it was one way. And then once I got out here, I realized, like, oh, okay, Nashville got some hoods, got some suburbs, mm -hmm. got some downtown. You know, everything that we got back at home in Memphis, y'all got up here. Facts. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And we very similar people. We might have a couple of differences or whatnot, but we all Tennessee we, at the we, end of the day. We, we, we are all Tennessee, like – um. And just real quick, because, uh, you know, everybody always got an opinion on Memphis. Like, yeah. And they always talking about the murder rates and right, stuff. Right, and right. Mem Memphis might be number 10 on the murder rate when they're looking at that, like, y'all number one. Right. And so what's the um, what's the divide on people knowing exactly what's going on in Memphis? What's the real dangers in Memphis, if you would, if you would say? I mean, in my opinion, shit, you just got to stay out the way. The real dangers in Memphis is being in the way. If you always outside, you always in the mix of everything, you probably going to witness something or something going to happen to you. Or you going to have to do something to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to get put in a situation. So I feel like the best way to be in Memphis is just to be out the way, get your money. And then, but even with Memphis, like, y'all ain't really – on the outside looking in, y'all ain't really caught up in like the gangs to me. You know what I'm saying? Right. I ain't never really heard a lot of people say they got gangs. I'm a grip on blood. But yeah. most of I heard you say Memphis. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. It's mainly hoods out there. Okay. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's mainly about where you from. But uh now nah, they got they got some gang bang going on down there too. You know, it's it's it really about who you associate with. Right. You know what I'm saying? Growing up, I was around all the gang bangers. I'm talking mm -hmm. about frontline niggas who gonna beat something. What yeah, side you from on um, Memphis? I'm from the east side. Okay, you're from the east side. Yeah. So, uh, but what that look like, you from the east side, mm -hmm. do you go out north or do you go out south? You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm in the north right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I really can go anywhere in Memphis. That's just me, though. Okay. But everybody ain't like that. I know niggas who ain't never left their side. 
Yeah. Right. I know niggas who live in North Memphis right now can't leave North Memphis or ain't gonna leave North Memphis. You feel me? Cause they don't North Memphis is they were. You feel me? So it's just about who you run into. Is there's a lot of different type of people in Memphis. When okay, because I watch a lot of um what's my guy, the white boy? Um White folks. White folks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, folks? Damn, this your daughter. Huh? I'm saying like, yup. Yeah. He got that We just, we just, hey, hey, no. Don't play with that boy. He's not like, no, no. no. This my blood, dad. Hey, look. No, <laughs> we just did a, uh, what they call it? A what? A yeah. DNA test. Oh, yeah, we did, yeah. Yeah, we did a DNA test. What did he come back and say? It said that I'm 100%. I am the father. Shout out to white folks, <laughs> man. Shout out folks, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, um, I know white folk is connected. Have you ever ran into white folk or do you know? Man, do you, you know I ain't never personally met him before. <laughs> personally, okay. but he, uh, he very well known in the city. You know what I'm saying? He a member for sure. What, you know make, what, what make the black community accept white folks yeah. like they white folks like they do? Because he really from the hood. See, in Memphis, it ain't a whole lot of racism going on. You got, you know, pockets of racism or whatnot, mm-hmm. but in Memphis, it's more so about where you from? See, everybody, every hood got a white boy that's from the hood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. However, you grew up, shit, some folks might fuck with him, some folks might not. Their white boy probably good in their hood. Yeah. He goes to the other side. We ain't never seen you before. Who was this white boy? You feel me? Okay. So it's just about, you know, who you is, how strong your name is in the city. Yeah. We big on reputation in Memphis. You mm. know what I'm we real big on reputation. If your reputation don't precede you, especially if you in the music shit, but even, you know, not in the music, just streets for sure. What that does loyalty? Procedure. But what does what, what does like? Because you know everybody got they yeah. everybody got their own persona of loyalty, right? Right. And right. so, what is the loyalty looking like in Memphis when it do come from? Yeah. Like, uh, you just what you're doing, and we all like. For me, I know when I see somebody on the come up, like you know, what I'm saying I own, I own this ain't this ain't trying to big you up as the biggest person in the world on this podcast, but you are really like out there and really doing your thing. So what's 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 loyalty? What do what what do you gotta stand on yeah. when you get there? Man, you gotta stand on business. That's for sure. Whatever business you about when you get out there. You know what I'm saying? I say this if you go to Memphis, it's two things you do. Go find you some good food because we got the best food. Oh yeah. One. And two, get with some people in your lane. Whatever it is you do, find the motherfuckers that's doing it. Don't be trying to be over here on this block with these niggas over here who's stealing cars and that ain't what you into. Thanks. You gonna fuck around and get shot because a nigga think you trying to steal that car and you ain't even trying to steal. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So wrong, it could be wrong play, wrong time, all that. But at the end of the day, I feel like you just got to be focused out the way, get your bag. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't like that in the city, you gonna get into something. You it, know what I'm saying? You gonna get into something. But it, and so you even got... um. Real quick, and we can talk about these guys because I just want to bring them. I want to bring them to the forefront. Yeah. Uh, you got guys. You got guys like you got the Gotties. Yep. And then you got the Dolls. Right. And you're in the rap game, and so you understand we all trying to get to the same place. Face. And so, how do you differentiate? Like, what does what does sleep say when all this mess is going on? The same thing I've been saying the whole interview, man. Stay out of the way. Get your bag. At the How end do of you day, pick a side, though? With you, I don't you, pick a side. Boys. I don't pick a side. Okay. What I do, I ain't going to lie to you. I got songs with PIE. I got songs with CMG. You know what I'm saying? As far as they artists, I ain't in they street business. Okay. So it ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Me personally. A lot of niggas from the city, if you from South Memphis, you going to ride with PIE. If you from North Memphis, you going to ride with, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. and it be mixed, too, because you got niggas from up there that fuck with them guys and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? With me. I can only speak on my personal experience, yeah. man. I do business with whoever want to do business with me, and it's going to make sense. I don't give a fuck about none of that street shit, because as long as it don't affect me, cool. But how yeah. do you, but but I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. How do so I stay how, out of How do you separate, how do you separate that, that street when you know, like, man, these guys, man, they really trying to put the city on. Yeah. And so. I don't uh, involve myself. Okay. I don't, so, I, I don't involve myself in certain things that ain't got nothing to do with. You see what I'm okay. saying? Because okay. you know, a lot of niggas, they'll get signed to a label and be like, man, fuck them niggas over there. Bro, if I got signed to CMG, I'm not finna go, I'm not finna yeah. be beefing okay. with them folks just because I'm signed with them yeah. or, or vice versa. But how do you do that? But, but no, that's what I'm saying. Man, but it's how gonna do be you under, do it's that? Gonna, it's, gonna be you know I mean? it's gonna be understood before I sign that paper. You feel me? Before I sign that paper, hey, this is what I'm on, and I'm a grown man too, so right. when you a grown man, it's only so much a person can tell you what to do anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gonna move how you gonna move, and they gonna respect it, or they, or they gonna check it. But 
we, uh, we, we go back to Memphis, though. Yeah. With Memphis being the city that it is, and you know how Memphis go hard, um, yeah, you, you you might do mess with Pre and then, but you sign with Gotti. Right. Now, how they look at you, because mm-hmm. now it's like, it's automatically like you pick the side, even signed in. Nah, that's you know for what sure. I'm saying? And that's so, how sure. do you kind of, like, how when, do you let when, people when, know? All right, so look, when violence get involved, when violence get involved, you are picking a side if you sign. Facts. Because whatever side you sign with, and you know that there's violence involved, you know that the other side looking to scope. On this side. Okay. It don't matter if you involved or not. You on this side. So I feel where you coming from mm-hmm. in that instance. Mm-hmm. If it come down to it, shit, I stay independent. Yeah. I, yeah. I make my own shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. At the end of the day. But I just feel like, man, the way I've been building my relationships in the music game, man, everybody knows Sleepy, he about his money. Yeah. You feel me? He going to come outside, shine. He going to go home to his kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got two little boys. So I don't even involve myself with no... No ignorance. You know what I'm saying? Anything that ain't got nothing to do with me, I ain't got nothing to do with it. You okay. feel me? Okay. Now, if a nigga come to me with something, that's a whole different story. Oh, yeah. That's a that's that could be a whole nother interview. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. when it comes to the politics in the streets of Memphis, man, if you getting your money, they're gonna respect it. That's one thing everybody in Memphis respect, getting money. Mm-hmm. If you getting your money, staying out the way, ah uh, yeah, Brian on it. You feel me? You said and it's look, you said some um I don't know if he said it on camera, but yeah. you said at the beginning of the show, like and I got to kind of disagree with you. You mm-hmm. said Memphis got the best food. <laughs> <laughs> you said Memphis got the best. We the do. Field. Who got better we food? We really do it. Y'all well, got the best well, how hot do you, chicken. How, okay, how do you? Okay, yeah, I know. But how do you? How I do you? Y'all hot how, how do you? How do you claim that? How do you take that? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Give us, I give, feel like we the best seasoners of food. Okay. We the best preparers. Like, we, we, we put our soul and foot into that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it go back to... The slave trade, like, a lot of shit come and start from Memphis. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So, excuse me. When we when we was free from bondage, a lot of the the, the, the recipes and us trying new shit, man, that's where it started at. But, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. Memphis is important for a reason. But I feel like the only folks getting up with us in food is New Orleans. New Orleans, I love y'all. New Orleans they got, got they do all the it on fire. That seafood, hey, man, that Cajun, fire. hey, that's my favorite type of food. So I gotta get to New Orleans, but man, Memphis, we right there though. How did you um sleep? How did you come up as in with you? Strike me as like a a good family guy. You know what I'm saying? A good nah, guy sure. that like you strike me as one of them ones that's like trying to really bring stuff together. So yeah. how did like how did you come up? Was it grandma that taught you that or granddad yeah. or how did you come up family wise? Man, I ain't gonna lie, it was definitely my grandma and my uncle Mook. They they instilled a lot of me. You know what I'm saying? I had my parents, like I had my mama, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? My pops, he he was around there nine then, but he really wasn't there like that. But you know, my mama, she gave me some morals, she gave me uh she taught me how to speak properly at a young age, you yeah. know what I'm saying, articulate, mm-hmm. you feel me? Like Facts. being from the hood, she didn't want me the same ignorant. You know what I'm saying? So I learned how to speak properly. You yeah, feel me? How yeah. to go in this room and talk to these people, how to go in this room and talk to them people. You know what I'm saying? But man, I got my game from my uncle. I got my uh my wisdom from my grandma. How did you but and, and then when it comes to okay, so so we're you know, we all hood and we yeah. all think like everybody's crazy and right, all right, this right. and that. So so how did you learn because with the with the rap and everything that's going on, how did you learn like the right decisions to make? Cause I wanna, I really wanna big your single up chocolate. Yeah, with uh, with big with big with big, big boogie. boogie. Yeah, and so it's so hard to get people like them to actually embrace the song. You know what Fetch. I mean? Like, Fetch. shout out to Big Boog man because yeah. like. He, I was telling. Oh, I said he embraced the song. You Fish. can, you can just tell from when y'all together in videos and stuff. Yo. He embraced the song. Now he enjoyed so, doing the song. We had fun making that one. You know what I'm saying? Me. And so, but I'm just saying. But how do you get to the point in the Yo. rap business to where you about your business to where artists like that want to mess with you? I say this: you got to stay consistent. One, okay. that's most important. If you're not consistent, you could be the most dopest rapper, singer, whatever, dancer. Sex. You can be. You can have a big following if you're not consistent with it. People going to see you today, and they're not going to think about you tomorrow. You got to put something in their face down there every day. Facts, you know facts. what I'm saying? In different ways. I say, man, if I got a single out, you, you need to hear it and see it in eight different ways. And so what? Okay. And so and so on, on that point, 
Like, how do you get the support from Memphis? And then how, like, when you got all your guys around you and yep. a lot of guys and they ain't supporting, how do you get people to help you? Man, honestly. Or do you care about support? Support, I do care about. Okay. I'm not, I ain't gonna cap like I don't okay. like I don't care about support. I do care about support, but I I made up my mind that some people not gonna support, mm -hmm. and some people I gotta ask to support. Okay, and and a lot of artists afraid to ask for okay. support. Facts, they ask for it the wrong way. They get on Facebook crying, man. Don't nobody like me because I ain't popular. Yeah, I ain't never gonna do that. Da, 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 da. It's like nah, bro. Put this shit in their face. Inbox people, send it to them. Ask them, hey, can you go review this for me? Can you make a reel for me? Engage with people. Mm -hmm. If you engage with the people, they going to engage with you back. Even if they don't like your music, they might respect the hustle. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So at the end of the day, that's what it's about. It's, man, put on the table what you want to accomplish. Go go get this shit. You know and, what I'm saying? And, and, but, and, you, and you make the people fuck with you by being consistent. And at, how you plan it day. out. Yeah, and, and and just with you, like, how do you, like, what does the plan for mm -hmm. rap look like to you when you're actually doing it? Like, yep. I'm just saying, like, signing a deal or I want to be independent. Because, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I ain't signing no deal. I want right. to be independent. 360. Drake was in the 360. Nicki Minaj was in. All Fence. these people Fence. had to start somewhere. Yeah. And so how do you look at that? That platform of signing or mm. independent, you know. First what I mean? off, three sixty got a bad uh, connotation towards it. Like people think the three sixty is bad. The three sixty actually is useful if you know how to use it. Yeah, most of them. One, most of y'all rappers trying to get signed because you don't want to do the work. You want somebody to come save your life. Yeah, facts. What I did, I went and got my own bag. Mm. I started my own label. Facts. I got my own connections. I got my own promoters. I got my own models. I got my own producers. I got my own artists. Facts. I got my own A&Rs. I got my own DJs. I got my own everything. Yeah. So at the end of the day, everything that I need done can get done. You seeing the process of a person that went out and made them connections. Next, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker feel like I can just go in the studio and rap and it's gonna, this, gonna, this song going to blow up and everything good. No, you got to work that record. Yeah. And before all that, before you even go in the studio... Get your bag, run the bag up, put that money somewhere, stack it up, flip it. Even if you making small moves at a time, a little music video over here, some little content shoots over here, photo shoots over here, keep working on records. Keep that shit in their face. You know what I'm saying? Keep stacking your bag. That's the that's that's what I'm going to tell them the whole podcast. Get your Thanks. money. Get your money. Get yeah. your money. If you ain't got no money, it's only so far you can go. How, how, how much do you care when it's when when you are dealing with certain people like, like everybody is so caught up on. Are you signing with Puffet right now? <laughs> <laughs> no if, Diddy. If Puff, <laughs> no if Puff, Diddy. No, I'm just being. If, nah, if, I'm, I'm if, being serious if, too. If Puff hit I'm that saying deal, no. Diddy want a party, and you gotta <laughs> tell him no. <laughs> you gotta tell him no. <laughs> nah, I'm but not no, signing with but Diddy I'm just saying, right But now. you can tell him no. You just. I'm saying you're mm -hmm. going he on the business much. end. Even on the business end, like, you got to think about it, bro. Howard University just gave this man a million dollars back and <laughs> took the scholarship down. Damn. Like, come on now. Like, nah, bro, I wouldn't attach myself to a sinking ship. Right. I'm just being real. Yeah. And, and much respect to Diddy for what he's accomplished, but what is it if they going to take it all back? Let me ask you a question. Do you think he has tore down the community more than he has built it up? <laughs> That's a good question. I like that. See, he's a good... He a good interviewer. Y'all need just, to. If you alive, subscribe. I'm just, that's if you just, alive, I'm just subscribe. Asking. If you alive, because subscribe. Because you can you can do some good, but you also Man, can do some great bad. I I. That's a good question, bro. I feel like if everything that they saying is true about him, then he definitely fucked things up for sure, for sure. But I mean, it's up to opinion. I feel like he did give us some really good music. I think that he has the, excuse me he has done he had, he has done some uh philanthropic things like he done you know charity work and all of that so I feel like he he's done some things to improve and he done put money in people's pockets but he done also kept people publishing till it didn't last no, no more till it I'm, wasn't worth nothing no more. Think about the the white slave owner. Yeah, <laughs> you know I'm just yeah. giving you an example like what did he do you know to our people he made them do. Acts that they didn't want to do. Right. Um, he made them believe something that wasn't true. Right. 
And I'm just, I see, now that I, that I look back on it, I kind of see, like, Diddy, you kind of did the same thing that the white slave owner has done to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Has done to us. And so, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't. I just asked you. I was trying. I gotta see where you at. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I gotta, I, mean, I gotta see if you gonna go for anything. Yeah. I'm just asking. Man, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Only thing I'm gonna go for is the truth. If I feel it, I feel it. You know what I'm saying? If I don't know, I don't know. I ain't gonna speak too much on it if I don't know. But as far as what I done seen so far, I mean, I can't really put too much judgment on the man until you know more more come out. You know what I'm saying? And today, today. Oh, you need some more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because because I say this, I say this. Yeah, okay. For what okay. I seen, for what I seen so far, okay. He done did some shit that the average Memphis niggas be doing. They be beating on they bitches and uh, <laughs> dragging them in hotel rooms. You know what I'm saying? That's I done seen that shit a hundred times. Okay. Memphis. That's regular. Charles and White said something. That's Charles regular. Said, you beat the people who you. Charles yeah. and White had a good point. He was, That's he, normal. Look, I'm just said, saying. I'm not <laughs> saying this, it should be. I'm, it's it's a, cool. It's not good or it's okay. cool. Okay, but look. I'm just saying it's normalized because I I've, I grew up seeing it. That's the, so, that's the culture. That's good. I'm glad yeah. you said that. Mm-hmm. So it's do you think we done normalize something that ain't really normal? Yes. Yes. As a culture, hell yeah, yeah. We done normalize a lot of things the, that we shouldn't be normalized. Man, that's what I'm, you know what I'm saying? A lot of things. Like, and the, and the this, internet only making it worse. Because like you said, to us, it's just like, oh, beating on the gal. Like, we seen, we seen our mama. We, we might have seen times. our mama get hit. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. And it's, that's, well, your that's, uncle might have been a pimp, and he might have dropped a couple bitches on their neck. You <laughs> and know? you from Memphis? Are you pimping? That's what I want. Cause you, you done Hold did. on, see what? He guilty. Wait, 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 wait. He guilty. Whoa, oh, whoa, you ain't whoa, guilty. Whoa. For one. You gotta ask me the right question. Uh, are you, you saying, uh, okay. Am I a pimp or am I pimping? Uh, okay. If you say am I pimping, <laughs> yeah, I'm pimping life. <laughs> I'm pimping everything <laughs> like you did. I need everything, every dollar today. But uh, like JG, <laughs> went work. But you is that? I'm but, but, but I'm asking you, is that still going on? I remember back yeah. in the day, all the Memphis <laughs> pimps used to come down here. We mad as hell. Yeah. You pimping our bitches? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. It's but is that, that. Is, is, is 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 that still going on in Memphis? That's a culture. Even with the young niggas, like even though a lot of these young niggas ain't getting no money, some of them is. I, I, I fuck with a couple of these young niggas out here getting no bad, but <laughs> cause you pimping too, right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> why why you messing bag. with the people that you I'm know? Okay, saying, but go bag. ahead. I go support. Ahead. I support the bag getters. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. How you gotta get it? You know what I'm saying? As long as you get the bag, I'm happy for you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, it's a lot of pimping going on in Memphis. So, okay. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a way of life. It's a way of life. Like how we got a uh, yes, he pimps. Houston got chopped and screwed. Go. Memphis got pimping. There's a whole lot of peace shit going on in me. You know what I'm saying? It's just that's what it is. If let, me, you, let me get comfortable, man. Me, I'm going to get comfortable in this world. I got to kick my feet up in this bitch, man. If you would lie, subscribe, you man. You got too yeah, damn comfortable in, in the bitch, damn man. studio. This nigga be the first nigga to kicked up his goddamn feet Come on, feet I got the here. blue bottoms on, man. <laughs> we got to turn up on. You know what I'm saying? Got the blues and shit in here. <laughs> yeah, this man. It's doing the big low. This nigga done came in and kicked his feet up. You yeah, nasty man. niggas ain't never did that. I've been home today. Let me ask you a question, Ashley. Yep. If if you would name one state that stole y'all music, mm. which one would it be? Are you gonna get me canceled? <laughs> this man gonna get me canceled. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> but hey, if you a live subscribe, man, Atlanta, Atlanta for sure. But it was like the early Atlanta, like Lil John and them. They took Crunk from uh Three Six Mafia. Man. They they Three Six Crunk was created in Memphis, and this old for all you younger subscribers. Tune in. This is a history list for y'all. Three Six Mafia started Crunk. Ooh. They from Memphis. Atlanta, Lil John, Eastside y'all Boys, see all Paul them. Paul right there. They Paul turned, right there with me. They turned the Crunk movement and made it a little bit bigger. And, you know, with Atlanta being Atlanta, they ran off with it. So, you know, I love y'all, Atlanta. Don't hate me. I know y'all topping my analytics and shit. I really fuck with y'all, but I'm just telling the truth. They they took Crunk from Memphis. You know what I'm saying? Crunk started in Memphis and, and born and raised type shit. Well, let me yeah. ask you a question, Sleep. Mm-hmm. Everybody know that. And not saying y'all stole nothing. Right. I always say if you're doing something good, yeah. people are gonna copy. You know what I'm saying? Right. But why do you why 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 you think Atlanta don't never come out and say, hey, we Mess with Memphis. I have never heard one yeah. Atlanta rapper say, "Hey, man, Memphis <laughs> it's a inspired of us." It's a couple of them. Okay, like uh, like Gucci man. He said shout he out was. To Gucci. He said he was inspired your by woman, uh, your woman. Your woman saved you, Gucci. Yeah, she yeah. did. Keisha shout Dio out, man. Shout you. out, shout out to Keisha. Walk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, yeah, you know, Gucci was inspired by Project Pet. You okay. feel me? And nice. I can hear it in his music. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? They both talking about. They said Project Pet top five. He was just down. They said they they yeah. hey, they said Project Pet top five. Pet in my top five. So I grew okay. up like Pet Pet in my top five. So and a bottle names like you. Okay, sleep. I want to ask you this because this is just a conversation going around, and I think uh I think a lot of artists will get a lot from you because I like I like you because you level headed, but um. Everybody's talking about the Bumby thing and Bumby, he's mm. on stage and now he's on he's on camera telling and stuff. Right. What would you done in that situation? Well, I With have been from, from from Memphis. Even though you know the guy came in the house, he shot him. Would you be at court? And your wife? Oh, uh, nah, I could do with a dad. Okay, at night, I ain't gonna lie. You come in my house, you gonna die. And it's just that's just his Yeah, it, that's that's, that's, that's how I feel. But 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 I will expound on it though. Okay. I don't feel like Bun B was snitching. Not at all. You feel me? Uh-huh. I, I don't feel like Bun B Not was at all. I feel like he a grown man. He an OG in our community. He should be respected. His house was violated. <clears throat> and he didn't respond how I would have responded, but I don't hold it against him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So respect the OGs, man. Y'all, y'all trying to uh apply these street politics to niggas who not in the streets. Like leave Facts. that shit alone. Like Leave that shit for you niggas who still going to jail. Yeah, y'all, how do you, y'all niggas make sure y'all ain't telling. How do you um how do you leave the streets alone when you come from the streets and then you in in the rap and then you got all these people around you like <laughs> shout still out in the streets. How do you how do you differentiate that? Um, me personally, I'm, I'm always speak from you a personal personally. level. Yeah, Facts, you yeah. know me, I'm always speak from personal level, okay. man. Facts. Um, me personally, I keep good people around me okay. and it's people I grew up with. I'm talking about down there from birth that once I realized they were sour or they didn't, it ain't even that they don't mean me right, but they just not a good person. person in period. It don't got to do with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to bring you around the business and you could fuck that up for me. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like you, you, you ain't finna come around my business and fuck up what I done built. Facts. And you ain't built shit. You just hurt yeah. Cause I know you. Yeah. Cause I love you. And I can love you from a distance. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people I love from a distance. You feel me? So it is what it is. You know, that's the best way for me to stay out of trouble and stay focused. But is, how do you, how do, but this you know, is what I'm saying. When yeah. You know, I, I talk about this all the time. Um, It can be your family member. Yeah. It can be your cousin. It can when, be your mama. It can, it can be, be your daddy. mama. When, when you know that, that, when you know they sour, how do you even love them from a distance when, when you're out here shining and then they seeing you go, growing to a level. I'm going through that right now. And how do you, how do you kind of, how do you work through that? It's for me, it's situation to situation. So okay. some people, we might not be in a good place to the point where I want you around me, but I can still love you. Okay. I can still okay. check up on you. I can still send for you if you need me i'm coming for you in a heartbeat dropping everything you see what i'm saying Mm -hmm. but it's some people that's like i love you but if i see you i'm gonna do something to you you feel me like like i got people like that in my family like like nigga i love you nigga like yeah yeah we played in the sandbox together like i thought you you was a part of my plans but like play with me in a way that like ain't no coming back from you know what I'm saying? Some people, some people can't come back from the things they do, and it's like, all right, you can live with it. So I'm gonna live with my decisions. And like I said, I still love you, but don't let me see. Question: Um, should Dolph should have still been living in Memphis when if you no. if, if, if 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 you're coming out of yeah, Memphis nah. and and Memphis and you're the artist that you are, um, are you supposed to come back or I mean, we seen Juke get. And that was just on a comeback. So right. how do you how do you work with that once you get there? Do you ever come back to Memphis? Do you are it, are they that jealous of you in Memphis to where like oh sleep is on now? It's up when he get here. <laughs> it's made people jealous of me since before I was on. I'm just because I've been before I was rapping. I was that nigga in the okay. street. So it's like my name. Like I said, Memphis big on reputations. Yeah. My reputation since since since. I could count Bender. That's a count getting money, nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Before yeah. they called me sleeping, before they called me Money Chris. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 yeah, that was my first name, yeah. Money. But but nah, for real though. Um, do, you, do you ever come back home? Do yeah. you move out or ever come back? How Man, do you look, be safe when you know? I live in the hood just, right like, now. Jekyll just came for a funeral, right? Yeah. I live in Memphis right now, and I'm in the hood with it. I feel like it's all about how you move. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And when you are uh, uh, a figure... Status like that, 
man, whether it's Dolph Jug, got it, whoever. What where do the beef stop? Where do the it everything don't. going okay? It don't. It just it, don't. it, it, it just ain't never it don't. it don't stop, bro. That shit you seen you the same way how the Crips and Blood shit go where you done killed my OG, so now we gotta kill your little homies. Well, them little homies got little homies too, and them little homies got little homies, and it's gonna always be some type of back and forth. Like yeah. these niggas losing brothers, uncles, all type of shit. They shooting grandma's houses. You, it, 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 the shit, the shit, fire, bro. So it's like it ain't no stopping they shit. It's so the just, OGs can't come together in Memphis. Like some cities, kind of not, not, not in not in this music shit. Okay, now, as far as in the streets, yeah, it'd be okay. a lot of that shit. Like it always be some shit in the streets going on. You feel me? Somebody Memphis got a high murder rate for a reason. Like yeah, niggas quick to pull their file. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But at the end of the day. A lot of shit get resolved and calmed down because you have smart men in Memphis. You got motherfuckers who militant, who understand, like, okay, I could do something to you, but I'd be smarter by keeping you still with me or yeah. or keeping you at a, 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 a long handle spoon distance, like, where I could fuck with you, but I ain't fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? And yep. we ain't got to kill each other. That's, a, that's a, lot, a lot of that go on in Memphis, too, where niggas be... You know, slick, not fucking with each other, but they ain't just they ain't seeing each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Memphis ain't no little ass town either. No, like, not at all. It's, it's, it ain't no big city like New York or, or Houston or nothing, but it, you definitely can move around that whole undetected if you know how to move. How how do you bring, um when you, okay, Sleep Signs a deal. You signed a million dollar deal. Yeah. And you really out here and you hot. How do you pick and choose who you come back to Memphis and work with? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just on some, you got to give something back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So how nah, do you finished. like, how do you, you got all these guys. I know, I know you got a lot of guys that I'm rap, a lot of guys who, you know. I'm working. I don't give a fuck about who okay. I know. Okay. You could, like I said, bro, we could have been in the sandbox together. If you ain't got the drive, if I if I could tell that you ain't willing to do it, if I wasn't doing it, why the fuck would I come back in? You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't, because once I put you on, and you get to that pedestal, you still gonna fall off because you ain't never had the drive to maintain that shit. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm exactly, saying? Yeah, yeah. If you so can't maintain the bottom, okay. okay. You're not gonna be able to maintain the middle or the top. It's just straight like that. Yeah, it's thanks. not possible. It's not possible. You gonna fuck it up. You might be cool for a couple months, but eventually you're gonna come right back down to where you supposed to be at, at the okay. bottom. So the niggas who I see working. Who I see got the passion for this shit. They might just not have the money. Yeah, facts. come here, little bro. That's what I'm talking about. And, yeah. I, and, and, and let me tell you this: I ain't got a million dollar deal. I'm already doing it. Thanks. Yeah, it's a couple of names I can name right now. You hear me? <laughs> I'm already reaching back. I I gave yeah. away a hundred backpacks to the kids last school season. You feel me? Yeah, like yeah. like I'm I'm big on giving back to my community mm. and reaching back already. Cause I ain't just gonna act like I got a million dollars. I don't. But I'm here. I'm getting a little something. Who who checks yeah, on who checks on you like um every I just I just see you moving around so much and I see you actually doing yeah. this nigga is doing the work and doing the big thing. So who checks on you? Who 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 who's helping you and with your back like you know what I'm saying? You work a lot, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like where the people at? How do you get your energy? Man, I got a small circle of people that's um super supportive of me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't necessarily financial, but it's more so like in spirit. Most definitely, yeah. mental, you know what I'm saying? Even physical sometimes. But I say it's just about having it the right the right vibes around. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I, I really ain't got that many. I got, like, maybe three people, three or four people that I could say, like, for sure, like, if I'm having a bad day, like my best friend, oh, she gonna, she gonna make my day brighten up like that. She gonna make me laugh. I could be hey, mad as yeah, hell ready yeah. to She made me wall. laugh all day today. Come on now, you hear me. <laughs> we done she had a ball. She here today. There she is. She gotta get, there she go. Yeah, she gotta get, get yours, baby. Get yours. She gotta get hers. You know what Come on saying? now. Get yours. It's the dizzle. Yeah. It's the dizzle, baby. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. But you, just, cause you, you need that type of energy around, right you know there. I mean? That I'm type finna, of energy. I'm finna get you in trouble. How you gonna get you me in trouble? You know what I'm saying? Because I got a game I play called Pick a Side. Okay. And you have to pick a side. Let's go. If these two guys, trouble. if these two guys doing the verses, who's winning? Gotti or Dolph? Damn. <laughs> he's he's up there like. What is what I was gonna do? I reload it. He came with a full clip. How, what else I gonna do? <laughs> these guys are in the verses. Who's winning? Gotti or Dolph? Man, Gotti got more hits. Got to got more hits. Okay. Got to got more hits. Got it was in the game longer. I'm going to be objective. Okay. Uh, 
uh Gotti was in the game longer. Uh he he done did a lot. He's still doing. He's still still doing. Still doing. So I'm gonna have to go with Gotti. You know what what Dolph did, he tsh, niggas that nigga shit legendary. What did Dolph do man. actually do for Memphis? If yeah. you would if you if you would say what did yeah. Gotti oh I mean Dolph actually do for Memphis? Man, he got it back a lot. Okay. He got it back and he empowered a lot of people. Um but I speak on what he did for me. Because I don't know him personally, but Facts. I learned a lot from Facts. just yeah. watching his grind. Shout because out to Dolph. You know I mean? Got it got it was more the corporate. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's like when you see somebody uh winning in the corporate realm, you don't know how to get there. Coming from the ind- independent. Mm-hmm. You don't know how to get there. Facts. You got you hoping. You yeah. wishing. You Most praying. Definitely. I hope God to see this. Ooh. <laughs> but Dolph showed us the independent grind. Okay. He gave us that blueprint in Memphis. You know what I'm saying? He gave me that blueprint for sure. That's why you that's why I'm here with you now. Thanks. Most I excellent. studied Dolph. I studied got it too, but I studied more of Dolph because I can actually walk that path. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I could probably do some of the science shit that got it doing as well, but I seen more of myself in the way that Dolph was Thanks. moving independently, having his own money, having his own team, and saying we gonna I'm bidding on myself versus signing with a label or you know, because I don't go around trying to get labels to sign me. You know what I'm saying? If a label was interested, I'm going to hear them out. Don't Most get definitely. me wrong. Yeah. Because the right deal is the right deal. Most but, definitely. man, like I said, I changed my life before the rap game. Mm. But, but before this shit, I had went and got in my bag. And I said, okay, I'm going to make sure my family's straight, my kids set for life, and then I'm going to rap. Facts. Yeah. And now I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's how it worked for me. So that's why I say I learned more. Uh, most so the blueprint from Dolph as far as how to be a boss, how to be an independent boss, and how to bet on yourself. As an artist, who would you name one artist that actually inspired you? Starlito. Shout out to Starlito. Wow. I like that. Yeah. Wow. Star. For sure. Let's talk about Star. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I got I got to get Star his props. Star has always been the solid Starlito that you know. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And um, I brag on him all the time. I, we talked about this on the video. I said, mm-hmm. every artist I talk to, they always say your name. Why Starlito? Man, Starlito got me through some hard times, bro. I ain't going to lie. When I was, before I was at my best, I had to go through my worst. And I had to really go through a lot of bullshit in order to get the, the skin thickness and to just be strong enough to, like, even be in the position I'm in. Mm-hmm. And hearing his words, it just, I, I want to say it like guided me, it kept me afloat in a sense because I relate to everything that bro rap about. Facts. From being a family man to caring more about being a dad than the streets. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, Facts. Yeah. But still relating to that point of, yeah, I can go get it if I need to go get it. You know what I'm saying? Like everything about bro message is my life. I feel that, like, Facts. for real, for real. Like, I really feel like <clears throat> he embodies the true hustle spirit, but a good person that's a hustler. Most definitely. Because a lot of these rappers want to be the villain, want to be the big bad guy. And it's yeah. like, that's cool if that's the role you want to play to the people. Yeah. But me, I'm stuck in reality, bro. I make reality music. Facts. That's why I got the chocolate record out, because Facts. I really believe that I feel it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everything you hear from me going to be from the heart. And I feel like, you know, all the Lido music is from the heart, bro. I really fuck with Star. Like, Star inspired me to take this shit serious. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I wouldn't be I wouldn't be rapping for real, for real. Because I always rapped. But I wouldn't be like, I can really do this shit if it wasn't for Star. What, sure. um, in, in your opinion, what do you think it's going to take for Nashville and Memphis to really, like, come together and come closer? Because we yeah. we all represent Tennessee, and, Thanks. like, we, like, you see how when when, when we link is, even with me and you, we're just, like, off the rip, we're like, yeah. this is, you know yeah, what I'm saying, what it love, is. You know what it's, I'm saying? It's that Tennessee love. So what yeah. do you think it's going to take for actually Memphis and Nashville to really start coming together with the money back yo's? And he always talk about us and stuff right. to actually start working together. Right together and I making think, um, some a bag together. I think, it, man, I'm glad you said to put the bag in there too. Yeah, no, the bag we gotta is put the important. Bag in there. If y'all didn't know, we get got that bag. The, it's about the bag. Look, get that I'm money. tired of y'all trying to act like it's not about the bag. About if you're not bag. about the bag, we don't want to work with you. We don't want to talk to you. <laughs> we don't want to rap. <laughs> yeah, but, man, rap. Honestly, I feel like Nashville and Memphis, 
we so close that all it's gonna take is for some artists to want to work with each other. Okay. From Nashville to want to come, cause it's like Nashville artists want to work with the big Na- uh, Memphis artists, like yep. niggas who are already out of here and they finna tax you. Yeah. Come to Memphis, get with some niggas that's still in the tr- in the trenches, mm-hmm. but it's actually having motion. Yeah. Like you. you yeah. <laughs> like a, like a loco. I'm yeah. still in the trenches, but hey, get what we we having motion. our way. You gonna come to a nice secure studio? We gonna definitely. make good music. You see what I'm saying? So. Is my people reaching out to each other, yeah. doing more shit. Like I even me personally, I gotta come out here more and fuck with the DJs, fuck with the artists. I already got a couple producers out here making beats for me. You Thanks. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that that that's really how I start. I, I got a song with Lito called Not Like Mine. That motherfucker bang. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So I'm already I, I started with a top dog, but just like like I'm preaching, like I, I need to reach out to some of the guys who I ain't gonna say they little niggas or nothing, but they nah, just ain't on made the come it. up. Yeah, exactly. ain't they ain't made it to that level. More so in my lane. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because Lito, he a huge artist. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So he when I reached out to him, it was like shit, you helping me. You mm, see what I'm yeah. saying? This gonna bring me up. And he well, loved Memphis so much, so I know that was now. right around his That's corner. That's like his second home. Yeah. That's, that was almost yeah, definitely. Come on yeah, come on now. Nah, I, f- I fuck with Lito, though. But, man, yeah, that's all it is, bro. We just got to lock it work in. with each other more. Man, come to the clubs in Memphis. We're going to come to the clubs up here, and it's going to be a good time. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody <laughs> want the same thing. Niggas trying to have fun. <laughs> Fuck bad bitches. <laughs> Get some money. You know what I'm saying? We all want the same shit. We want so the same thing. Come on now. It's Tennessee, man. What we doing? I'm going to get you in trouble again. How you going to get me in trouble? Because you showed that I got me in trouble with that first one. Because you, you want to come here and These you want to act mad. like that. I'm not going to ask you the question. I'm going to get you in trouble again. They're going to be um, mad. They, they, um, it's called, I'm, I'm still in my pick a side. Mm-hmm. Best. These two is two great groups. I'm finna say something about, and I and you gotta pick them. We finna talk about groups. A ball, MJG, or triple six. <sighs> well, this one oh. a lot easier than the first one. This this one a lot a lot easier is than it? the first one. Okay, yeah, yeah, because yeah. this one ain't had no violence, but uh. <laughs> this one was no, 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 not, that no know of, not that I know of. If it was, it was some violence before my time. But they no violence. Was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, for me personally, bro, I'm, I'm gonna have to go with A Ball and MJG. Um, and, and, and it's crazy because Project Pale was my favorite rapper from Memphis. Okay, but he not necessarily three six. He just related to. Me, well, you yeah, know? you know, I was talking about. Paul, Paul and, and Juicy. Juicy, right, 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 right. Just, exactly. I had to get two on two, but I gotta throw Pat okay. in there because oh, we gotta well, get his flowers. That's, that's the OG. I fuck with Pat. We are gonna do something one day, um, but I'm gonna have to go with A Ball MJG because they influenced um my music heavily. You know what I'm saying? They influenced my lifestyle heavily. I ain't know nothing about. I learned about pimping from my uncles, and my uncles was listening to A Ball and MJG. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. It all go together in one big pot, and I got a song with them too. I ain't put out shit, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna definitely go with Eight Ball and MJG because I work with them. Okay, I got another one for you. Yep, shut up a little bit. <laughs> if this, I got an answer for oh, you, you gotta, time, I promise. You gotta have one because guess what? They say if you don't answer, you're a sucker. Right? So you used to be Come a on sucker. now. If you don't answer, okay, I, I can't if, be a sucker unless it's a female involved. If these, <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? Why they be mad on the females like hey, that? What's I don't going know why on with that? Bad, man, man. it's too many of them. We pimping them. Come on now. If come um, on now. You know, if these two guys is doing the verses, who's winning? Starlito or Moneybag, yo? Oh shit. Oh. Uh. All right, so based off you know of, both of their music. See, we ain't we, we ain't basing yeah. this off of the uh the 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 radio, the industry hits. We just basing this off of two artists because you are artists. Okay. And if these two guys is going in the ring, and as you being judge of the artist, who's winning? Lito, easily, <laughs> all day, like it ain't even a question. If we if. Cause you took out the yeah I'm the, taking the, out the, the I'm taking out the the star the, the factor system. and the yeah yeah yeah, 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 I'm, yeah. I'm taking out the system. if you take out all that then yeah I'm gonna give it to Lito because he got more um he got more songs he for one he got a bigger catalog one uh-huh. um so he could go to Ultimate Warrior Lito he can go to Mental Warfare Lito like he can go so many he can go back so far yeah to shit that I still remember to this day just like yeah bro got he just got too much music mm-hmm. he got way too like he's 
And bro got some real street classics like that. Niggas to this day still, when they come on, they like, that's my shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, not to yeah. say bad gang, because bad oh, no, bumper no, too. Bag, that's, that's, bag that's got many guns too, Shout but to bag, that's my guy. I just don't think his catalog is long enough. Yeah. What made Boogie want to do a song with you and uh, actually and actually <laughs> promote it with you? What made him say, yeah, I'll go ahead and do it? Because he didn't have to. I mean, he, and he, he could, he could promote a little know, bit more. I, know, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, yeah, Boogie, Boogie, come you on, could man. That you put, a, put it on your more. page. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you, though, my yeah. guy. But, uh, but, man, nah, the fact that he even jumped on the song yeah. and enjoyed it, like when we was in the studio, the man was smiling the whole time. He was dancing like, and shit. He's a real one. Yeah, he's like, I fuck one. with bro. Energy, he, he, he didn't have to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He ain't have to fuck with me. So I, I feel like, um, I'm I'm the type of person, bro. I'm just appreciative of what I do get. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So then sometimes shit don't always go how you planned it or how you want it to go exactly. But man, you got to be appreciative of what you got and make do with it. What you think you deserve? Do you think right now you at the point to where you should be the the top guy, or do you mm. think it's still like in the middle of the grind? Or where do you think you at right now? Well, I'm gonna tell you this right quick, right. My goal in this music industry is to build a cult following. Okay. My goal ain't to be the top guy. Okay. Because the top guy is the most scrutinized, the most talked about, the okay. most watched. They, like they all in your business. Like okay, like a puff. Right. Like no diddy. Or like you how gotta they tell got them no. Drake and Kendrick. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got to tell them no. <laughs> how they had Drake and Kendrick, though, yeah. like they was overanalyzing everything and trying to find Who Drake's daughter and shit. Who won? Who? Kendrick. 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 Huh? But, uh... I ain't gonna lie, I listen to the Drake This is more than I listen to the Kendrick This is So how did Kendrick win? Because he had the one that ended it. You ain't heard no more Drake This is after that. <laughs> you ain't heard no more This is after that. I'm just I'm just saying. I heard Drake uh, on Who the- Who had the best song? He, he rapped on BBL Drizzy, though. Who had the best song? I liked, uh, honestly, I listen to Family Matters more than I listen Come to anything. Come on, there, everybody. That's my shit. Drake, you won, Drake. That's my if shit. If you're a last subscribe show, you won, Drake, with Family Drake, Matters. You I won with, with you, Family Matters. But you should have came with that. one more song, nigga. No. We needed that. We needed Drake. that in my in my bag. We needed no. that, that goddamn East Coast beat. Like, Do you think oh, it was needed, wrong? But look, hold up. I need a more again, from Drake, man. No, nah, again. I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. This is a serious question. Fuck with you, Drake. Okay. <laughs> if, I need that. If you, was the, if you was the biggest drug dealer. Yeah. In the world, right? It's gonna be an easy one. It's gonna be an easy one. It's gonna be so easy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You the biggest drug dealer in the world, and we doing a rap beef, mm -hmm. and we going back and forth. We on some rap shit, right? Then I go and say, "Well, he the biggest drug dealer in the world. He got the keys." Did I cheat? <laughs> Uh, because well, at this you point, definitely see, and hey, we gotta get you off. <laughs> we gotta get you the fuck up better. At here. this point, loco, you would have said, "Man, it's I a back rap. up." It's a rap. That nigga gone. Yes. So did Kendrick cheat? I'm not even rapping no more, nigga. We dropping that bag. <laughs> this. You said I'm the richest drug dealer in the world. On Drake, did Kendrick cheat? Yeah, I'm gonna sell one of my. I'm gonna sell one of my yachts. <laughs> get your ass the fuck up out of here <laughs> Cause you playing yeah. I'm the biggest way you know, I ain't what, even a rapper no more y'all you know I ain't I'm, even a rapper no more I'm I gotta get out the game now Cause you the biggest rapper so in the is, world is, is that what Drake, Drake okay, since You won't try to put these allegations I'm on me I'm saying that Drake I'm could've made right. one more song But I feel you though on the allegation <laughs> shit Cause it's like when the nigga put that type of jacket on you bro It's like people, people be assuming And then once people assume That's what it is it's like even with Diddy, like until we seen that video of him beating Cassie ass, a lot of people was like, man, I don't know, I don't know about that. I don't know, bro. Yeah, yeah. Once they seen him drag a bit by the hotel <laughs> elevator to the room, it bought it. Now it, that, it that niggas real. like, he did that shit. That nigga did that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now he so, killed up everything. Right. Everything but, because of that one video. So it's like public assumption or public, you know, whatever the word is. I think it's pu public, uh, the way people receive you, perceive you in public. I feel like 100% is opinionated. It don't matter if you did it or not. If people think you did it, you did it. 
Shit, <laughs> all say that's what it no is. Diddy. No, no did it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. yes, did it. You know what I'm that's, saying? Yeah. <laughs> they sent you drag the bit. Hey, hey. Now they believe you or you the bitch. And so you ain't doing no songs or nothing like you did. No contact. Not I ain't doing songs with his son, nigga. <laughs> what you talk about, nigga? I don't want to holler at King, nigga. Like, no. I was straight. None of that shit. I don't care if you got a biggie verse, nigga. And I yeah. fuck with Biggie, oh. nigga. I P, nigga, but I'm cool. I'm good. I'm over with pocket them, nigga. For good. something, I'm with them, broke them, nigga. Yeah. I'm straight. Uh, yeah, I don't uh, want no uh. pause. I don't want no pause. And it ain't just that it's did it. Like, if I had a homeboy that had them type of allegations, like, bro, mm. you can't be around us, bro. You can't. Yeah, get away from around us, fool. Like, nah, you can't come to the cookout, none of that shit. You can't come to the cookout. You can't come to the wedding. We don't even want to see you at the funerals, nigga. Get the fuck around, away from around here if you got so, them type of allegations. You so can't be around the kids. So if anybody's telling, you don't ha- can we not hang around snitches? I feel like uh, <laughs> it can be your little cousin. Like, I feel like cousin, man, you can't come around. That shit's so crazy. Come around or not, uh, that shit's so crazy. That was- man, I think it depends on the relationship with the person and the situation of what they was doing. Because I got a... I got a, 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 a friend <laughs> that they saying did some shit, and I ain't saying no names. It's, they say I got a friend that said it's all he, allegations. It's all it's allegations, allegations, but at the end of the day, niggas treating him like he did it, and I'm like, man, <laughs> that nigga cool, bro. Like he ain't told on me, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, so I ain't finna let him see nothing neither. But hold up. It's but, like it's I don't know, but, man. But, that's, that's a but, tricky but, one. That's but, the worst. That's the worst well, question at all, though. Cause that's the that's cause that nigga gonna know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna know. He gonna know. <laughs> hey, I'll oh, do it real it. We want him to know. That nigga go I'm when just, I get home. I got some explaining to do, no. nigga. I'm telling you. <laughs> it was like damn, cuz. Yeah. I'm like, hey, we still friends. We still, bro. I just can't tell you nothing, nigga. <laughs> shit, I'm sorry. Shit, you can't nigga. come inside you can't no see more. You gotta stay. You gotta. Come to the store, nigga. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> you can't come to the spot no more, though, You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, but uh, the, now that's real. Like, how do you work through that? I'm just saying, yeah. like, man, everybody look, be like, oh, he didn't tell on me. Uh, how I look at it for real, for real, my my I know my opinion ain't gonna be the most popular, bro. But I feel like the streets is a milk, anyways, bro. I feel it like is. a lot of these niggas they act tough. They done already told. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the, the nigga kill you and tell on you, nigga, like. They cheat. You feel That's me? That's a cheat right there. The kill you and tell they on tell you, bro. So like, yeah, how can I beat you? I, I'm at the point, bro, as a grown man with two sons, I just don't even care no more, bro. Max. If a nigga told, if you didn't tell on me and you ain't got nobody close to me in trouble, you feel me? Yeah. Man, I'm not you, you, Hey. I just know not to tell you. You know what I'm saying? I but I'm not finna be like, man, bro, you... <sighs> Certain shit you probably not gonna be invited to. I ain't gonna lie. But, 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 I'm not finna just shun on niggas. I'm not. Because I don't care that much, bro. Like, bro, I'm trying to feed When the my streets sons. is over, like, we out of yeah, that. Yeah, the streets ain't... It's not the 80s and 90s no more. Even early 2000s, I say, was cool. But, like, man, this shit ain't... I ain't this shit watered down, bro. This shit watered down as fuck. These niggas not gangster for real. These niggas ain't even really getting money like they supposed to. You feel me? Niggas, Damn. everybody want to be uh famous on social media now. That's the that's, that's the that's the new drug, Dylan. Is, is having likes and, and subscribers and shit. You know facts. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, and we all fall victim to this shit. But at the end of the day, man, I don't give a fuck if these niggas telling or not. Just don't tell on me. I don't yeah. think, and I don't even think we all fall victim to it because yeah. I kind of really feel like. We really working, you know what I'm saying? We really trying to get people to like what we do, you right. know what I'm saying? And we doing shit outside the streets. So it's like when you remove yourself from it, you still going to feel away because you was from it, right? Yeah. But at the same time, it don't sting like it would if you was right there next to a nigga. Facts. If you right next to a nigga and a nigga tell on you, it's like, damn, bro, what the fuck? Oh, we got to get this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you you find out some shit that happened six, seven years ago about a nigga, and it's like, man, you been around us this long, nigga, shit. <laughs> You know everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to keep you close in it. Right, nigga, way. shit. We, we might need to keep your head close anyway. But I just, I, I just, man, I'm so far removed from a lot of the dumb shit in the street, yeah. brother. It's like, for me personally, I can only speak on my own personal experience. I don't be caring what these niggas got going, bro. Thanks. As long as nigga I, ain't tell on me and nigga ain't trying to harm me or take no money out of my pocket, bro, you can you can make it. We, 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 we out of this. Man, look sleep, man. 
This was a fire interview, man. Nah, fair, so I said, like, fair. look, look, man, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. um, this, I, I think I appreciate you more than you appreciate me. And not in a bad way, just in the sense of, like, man, they got on the road, man, and and yeah. came and, and, and stood on business. And got here 15 that's minutes we, early. And got here Come early. On, you know Come what I'm saying? Now. And stood on business. So, man, I, I appreciate you. Um, one, this, this what I want to know before, before, before I go. Yep. This is what I want to know before I go. Give me your top five Memphis artists. Memphis artists. Yes. <sighs> Sleepy Loco at the top. Nope. 100. Sleepy Loco the best. 100. <laughs> Ain't nobody rapping with me. Nobody. Sleep. Um, I had to put Dolph at two. Two. Gotti at three. Okay. Violent G at four. They okay. get to be one. In oh, it, it, one, we got that one. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm gonna put Pet at five. You heard me? This is if you a live subscribe yeah. show. Guess what? See, I like sleep. He gonna answer any damn thing. Come on, now. Sleep don't give a damn. I don't care what come behind you, this you, shit. You, I ain't gonna lie to you. 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 I can't none of you niggas beat me up, nigga. Stand on business. <laughs> Fuck so so we are standing on business. So, man, shout out. Look, man, this is if you a live subscribe Memphis, man. This is what we call this thing, man. We done started this yeah, thing man. off. And, man, for the for, for the Memphis and Nashville, we are bringing. This is what this really was about. Just us uh, just yeah. kind of bringing it together. Connecting you know what the saying? bridges, man. You yeah. heard me? Hey, if you a live subscribe, man, Memphis, tap the fuck in, man. It's the platform you need to be on. All you Memphis artists, don't be scared. Come up here and get this shit too, man. Come up here and get this talk. shit. It's you a welcome. real nigga. This is this, this a real comfortable setting. Everything secure, man. Get up here, bro. Yeah, because you got them to kick talk. your goddamn feet up on my Come shit. Come on now, man. I got the blue. Who's that? Shit like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to put the yeah, blue. Yeah, man. Hey, I appreciate you there. having me on the show, man. For real. No, I appreciate it. Chocolate this, out right now. This shit will blow your chocolate out right Make now. Make sure y'all go get big that. Big booty bitches. <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, you can't go wrong with yeah. chocolate, you dig. But you know what I'm saying? It's a whole lot of shit going on, man. Y'all make sure y'all tune in. Blind Sleepy Out 2 album just dropped. Max. Yeah, man. We outside with it. Y'all gonna see me up here in Nashville a lot more often, man. This really gonna be my second home. That's what I'm trying to make it. So, Not facts. Nashville artists, y'all wanna do something with me, reach out, man. I ain't hard to find. And I ain't no bougie ass nigga, bro. I'm gonna pull up to your trap. We can get it in. However you wanna do it. And you Producers safe too. Here. Videographers all that, yeah. And you super, you super duper safe, solid down here. Like yeah. anytime you come I here, you good. Be. And I know when Appreciate we come to Memphis, we good. So man, oh, like wait. I said, that's just Nashville, Memphis connect. I gotta you put him on that food too. He don't think Memphis got the best food, y'all. I'm gonna put him on that. I'm gonna put him on that food. I'm gonna take him to the spot. No, we go. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, get him yeah, together. Yeah, you know what yeah, yeah. We'll get him together. We'll talk a little yeah. more about that. But I'm in. Yeah, right. We gonna show some. If you're alive, subscribe today.